Hey, what's going on? Cool cats. Just me. Keeping it real. Kind of a change of pace. Change of scenery. Back home. Done with college. Who are you with? Ooh, that was nice. That was real nice, y'all. Graduate. I still but Ooh. It was sweltering. Like. It's just. It was so hot. Like, I did not think it was going to get that toasty. Being 9 in the morning. Wearing my full suit. Golly, the jacket was a mistake. Like, I don't know why I wore it. Like, for the most part, it was, just, it was nothing but sweltering. I was weltering like a flower, y'all. But it was nice, you know, getting that graduate, you know, when they say, you know, Eric, Gabriel Roquad, and I got up that podium and got my diploma. I mean, I, I didn't have it in it. That doesn't have it in there. It was, like, they, they mail it to you so that way, no shan if, if shenanigans arose, They'd have sort of leverage, so to speak. So people, you know, everything, you know, no, no, uh, nobody got out of hand really. There was a few characters, a few jokers, but nonetheless, everything was well maintained. Though there were some people in the audience, and I know it's graduation, it's like cool beans. I was excited, but there were some people. I'm just gonna say it, they were black women. They were just, they were extremely excited about their, their, their sister, their, you know, the. Their significant person, you know, graduate. I'm like, yeah. They were just hooting and hollering. I'm like, that's that's good. This isn't about you, lady. This is about the person who spent four years plus graduating. Let's not take it out of off them. Especially when you're act some people are trying to videotape this. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there was some goofy ones. Were like, that's my hot wife. I got a kick out of that. You know how those kind of things go. It was outside. It was a nice day. I mean, don't get me wrong about that, though. It's a nice day. Um, but yeah, I mean, now it's all done. Now I had a job interview today with Pepsi. I'm feeling stoked about that. Feeling pretty confident. I had to go through these long assessments. I had to take one. I had to do one at home back here. It's just I didn't have time to do this. Second, good thing I didn't, because it took so long. Man, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling calm. Can't. I'm not at discretion to d talk about what it was it said exactly for confidentiality purposes, mind you. But nonetheless, good time. So yeah. But uh, oh, sorry. I'm reading something that you guys will see soon enough. Um, but yeah, what I was going to tell you about is like, I had to seg. I kind of had to discuss the whole why I was here, but why I'm doing this video specifically because. I am going to start learning how to draw, getting the stuff done, because I can't really draw beyond stick figures, and even then, it's 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 pitiful. Um, so yeah, I'm like you know something, because I've you know I with light spark and everything, I just don't have an artist who can draw. I I don't have one at my disposal. I mean I don't have the money, and it's like no one wants to just do this out of the kindness of their heart. I mean the thing that people don't understand is that, like if you were to help me and be a major contributing part. I would be paying you buco bucks, a percentage of what I was getting, but people just can't see the long term. They just want to be paycheck now or I don't do it. I'm like, well, fine. It's just like I won't have to pay you then in the future when I'm making millions of dollars. That's a shame because, you know, I would have really appreciated it. There are some fine artists out there who I know who just can't seem to have the initiative that I do. I'm not getting paid right now to write, write, write light spark, but I've got the desire. I just can't. I guess I can't. Or illustrate that value that I have for other people. But it's whatever I'll just do it myself and with this fine book modern cartooning essential techniques for drawing today's popular cartoon by Christopher Hart who apparently is the world's best-selling author of drawing and cartooning books so they have set the standard for art instruction both nationally and internationally and this is like for the basically people who haven't even learned how to draw and like really I could almost go with this kind of cartoon style for like the art style of Light Spark. I mean, granted, it, there are different approaches I could take with this. Um, I guess maybe for the sake of just concept art, I could try this, you know, for my own sake and benefit, trying to establish the characters in that design. And when it gets pushed to like, you know, the actual publishing floor, we would uh, revamp it up to more to something else so I mean I think it could be a cool and interesting artistic approach to having like the sort of Incredibles art style but making it more darker more serious and I feel like it would be like a weird 
sensation to the senses because you would be coming into this looking like oh the incredibles i enjoy that it was a good childhood movie and then boom it's going to be lord of the rings intensity and star wars nastiness and it's just like dang your senses are going to be like i don't know what to do here and you're going to feel sad you're going to feel emotion and that's what i want feeling emotion and vigor and purpose and life and just just gonna be awesome and like it's gonna be the incredibles style with Lord of the Rings intensity, like all the massiveness, and then Star Wars with the fights and all that cool stuff. And then the, also kind of that depth and spirituality of it all. So, it's going to be a whole cool, part, fun trip. So hopefully, with, if I get good enough with this, um, I'll be able to actually do something. It seems like there's a, the book, looking at it, there's a lot of like simplicity to it. Like, you know, the, all the stuff basically starts from rudimentary shapes, circles, ovals, rectangles, those sort of things, and you build from that. And so all, that'll be good. You know, it's not like just boom, draw some complicated image. You know, it's like shading and all that. So the shading's a tough part, and I don't think there's as, it's like, as, as extensive. There is shading I'm seeing, but I don't think I, I think I can get away with a lot of this stuff starting off, just getting the shapes and the designs down. And I think as I grow, you know, see now I don't have college or track. Got a lot more free time on my hands, folks. Even if I do get a job, I'll still be able to do this afterwards when I get home. So, it's going to be all good. Whew! Though if I get the job in Mount Vernon, I'll have to move there. But that's not too bad, as long as I can, like, as long as, if they could just give me, like, some sort of, like, compensation. if they Because they're doing, wanting to do, like, a training program. And so, basically... I would have to be getting paid during that time. And I think nowadays a lot of companies will pay you during that training time. Perhaps not as much, mind you. But, you know, if guys just can get enough to get a car and a place to live and feed, you know, house myself. for Even if it's really bare bones, I can get through it for eight weeks because that's what they said. Two months? And then once the summer, basically, after the summer is done, you know, going into fall, I should be able to have more of my feet on the ground. Especially if I pass the training. So, yeah, but I got this Toys R Us interview tomorrow, so that would be kind of neat. We'll have to see how that turns out. That would actually almost be nicer, more convenient, less of a risk in the respect that it's in Chesterfield. So I wouldn't have to, um, I would be able to stay here where I'm at now um, and not have to go. So that would take out a huge expense for the time being. And, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, come when I would move at the time when I would be ready enough. That would help us. And it's Toys R Us. I mean, I'd be in HR, but it's like one of those things where being HR there isn't necessarily just HR. I'd be doing sales and stuff. Also, like, on the floor and also be mingling with, you know, and working with the employees internally. But I'm like, that's a part of HR. I didn't say that to her. It was just, that's something I've just gone to. Like, just, maybe it's different. I don't know. But whatever. That would be cool. I would love to work it there. Because it's like it's Toys R Us. Play with toys. Like, I could rock that sales, you know. I could I could rock that. Cause see here's the thing. Toys R Us is one of those things where they're selling on in the front, you know, uh, you know, to kids, you know, kids buy you know your parents usually aren't the ones who are buying it for themselves. But it is the parents who are actually the purchasers, the buyers. But the kids are the users. So it's weird because you're basically it's 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 sneaky because you're basically like you kind of butter the kid up. Then you get it to want the kid to get the mom to want to buy the, the toy. And it's not in an unethical way. Like, your parents won't love you if you don't get this kind of thing. Nothing like that. But it's kind of like, you know, that's sort of like, oh, the kid wants it. Kind of, you know, something to encourage them more so. You know, I think that's, I think that'd be kind of fun. I don't know. I, I think I've got a good personality. I mean, I love playing with toys. If I could... And I like, because it's one of those things where I'd like to get, you know, I wouldn't mind playing with toys like Star Wars toys and stuff, you know, now. But it's just like I got all these other things I've got to buy and whatnot, you know, clothes and what have you to, you know, be ready for the professional. I did get a real sharp outfit. I tell you what, old sport. I'm going to look fresh to death. Got new Dockers. Ooh, baby, watch out. But it would be like, you know, I, I could relate. A lot of those toys, like, I know about, like, you know, like, uh... You know, Sonic toys and Adventure Time toys. I could be like, hey, it's Finn, Jake, and Dumpty Space. So I could, like, get enthused with the Halo toys. But, yeah. Anyways, I'll be checking you out, guys. Checking you guys. Yeah, just, I'm tired. We out. Peace.